Welcome to the National Academy of Television, Arts and Sciences, Michigan Chapter, College and High School Student Production Awards. I'm Ron Hilliard, weather forecaster and reporter at Mid-Michigan Now in Flint. As a native of Detroit and Michigan State University and Spex Howard School of Media Arts graduate, it's a pleasure for me to be one of three presenters today recognizing the talented up-and-coming professionals in broadcast journalism and television production here in Michigan. Congratulations to all the nominees and college and high school students who entered and participated in this year's program. Be proud of what you've accomplished, particularly during recent challenges we've all faced. Today, we also want to recognize every teacher, professor, and administrator in our high schools and colleges for all they do in creating exceptional learning experiences for students. The Student Production Awards would not be possible without your commitment and support. At the end of today's program, we will also honor and announce the winners of this year's Dr. Lynn Boyle, John Shimp High School and College Scholarships. And now it's time to get to the awards. In the College News Report Light News category, the nominees are Apache Reunion, Michigan State University, Letters of Love, Michigan State University, You Guys Are the Stars, You Just Make Me Shine, That's All, Michigan State University, and the award goes to Letters of Love, Michigan State University. History lost in the wake of time. Notes, letters, report cards from students that legendary swim coach Charles McCaffrey saved for some reason. He was really good about saving all the stuff. Too. In file cabinets here for more than five decades. Matt Gianniotis' time as MSU's head swim and dive coach is coming to an end, but you wouldn't know it. Yeah, so they're on 50 seconds. All right, full boat position for the whole of them, 12 total. In All October, right? MSU announced the program would be cut after this season. It's just really, yeah, it's been tough. It's been very difficult for us. Johnny Otis carries on McCaffrey's legacy, one where the program felt more like a family. Uh, he used to call the swim team the porpoise fraternity. He had these amazing relationships that went on for decades. He was so beloved. Coach McCaffrey saved everything from final race times from 19... In the high school category, news report, light news, the nominees are Valley View Voyage, Rockford High School, The Impossible Mile, Rockford High School, Zoology Mice Mazes, Lake Orion High School, and the winner is The Impossible Mile, Rockford High School. Announces doctors found out Johnny Agar had a disability called cerebral palsy. From where the bleed on the brain was, they were unsure about if I would be able to walk or talk or or how much different things will be affected. With him being the Agar's firstborn son, Jeff and Becky went to the doctors unsure of what to do. He said, you know, I can give you the books that you want to read, or you can just treat him like your son and love him like he is. Which is exactly what they did. And we walked out of the office knowing that we um, were just going to treat him no differently than anybody else. His parents wanted to make sure that Johnny did not know he had cerebral palsy until he could understand his own limitations. Ouch. And that's when he found running. The next category is College News Report, Serious. The nominees are, He's Been Gone Long Enough, Michigan State University, Praying for Healing, Michigan State University, Spartans Walk Alone, Michigan State University, and the award goes to Praying for Healing, Michigan State University. It seems everyone is grieving. Mark couldn't stay away. Uh, all of these tragedies have just affected me, but I, I felt helpless to tell him how much we care and, and support uh, the community, support the people. He found himself here in front of Oxford High School where a memorial keeps growing. Just a few days ago, four students died here, seven others injured when another student brought a gun to school and started shooting. Wish I didn't have to be out here. Mark rode his bike from his friends in Lake Orion today. I'm from Northville and I rode on the thing there that, you know, Northville supports Oxford and, you know, anything that, that our community can do, we'll, we'll do it. Grieving is all too familiar for Mark recently. My wife passed away. In the category of high school news report, serious news, the nominees are COVID spike. Rockford High School, Human Trafficking, Ellis Story of Betrayal and Survival, Davison High Schools. And the award goes to Human Trafficking, Ellis Story of Betrayal and Survival, Davison Schools. Basically, I was told because I had to get like and pay money for residency and everything else before I would get sent back that I had to do all that. 
So basically locked myself in a room and told me to make money with a gun in my head. With moving to a new country and being newly married, Ella thought she would have a companion with her husband, but she was betrayed instead. It's not like I got any sort of affection or love or from someone that's supposed to be there for you no matter what and take care of you and not do the things that he did to me. When we start believing that it doesn't happen here and not in my community or not in my home. In the category of college talent, news or sports, the nominees are Regan Holgate, 2021 Anchor Reel, Michigan State University. Ian Gilmore, Talent Reel, Michigan State University. And the award goes to Regan Holgate, 2021 Anchor Reel, Michigan State University. And I'm Regan Holgate. Today we focus on small town stories and some of those stories make big headlines. A headstone missing for 150 years and now found. Yes, thank you, Asia. This is the section of the Red Cedar River that's right behind Jenison Fieldhouse. And if you take a look over here, I'm not sure how well you can see it because it is pretty dark out here, but they've installed black rubber mats behind me and they're using this as the main entry point for those dive teams and those boats that are out there searching. Sean, this past weekend was a big one for the Michigan State football team. A top 10 matchup between the Spartans and the Wolverines, and it did not disappoint. It was the first time in 57 years that both Michigan State and Michigan have come into this rivalry matchup undefeated. The nominees in the high school talent, news, or sports category are Eric Rice the Bus, Troy Athens High School, Derek Steele, Live Sports Announcer Reel, Lake Orion High School, and the award goes to Eric Rides the Bus, Troy Athens High School. I know your car broke down, uh, but I have a meeting to get to at 2, so I can't drive you anymore. All right, I'll figure something out. You know, you can always take the bus. What bus? The Smart Bus website is telling me that 20% of Michigan residents are living in a quarter mile radius from a smart Our next category is college newscasts. The nominees are Focal Point News, March 12th, 2021, Michigan State University. Focal Point News, December 3rd, 2021, Michigan State University. And the winner is Focal Point News, March 12th, 2021, Michigan State University. Welcome back to Focal Point. Flu season is coming to an end, but was it ever really here? Focal Point's Brianna Idzior tells us where wearing masks might be preventing other illnesses besides COVID-19. Times change. Students used to worry about parking tickets and missing the bus. Now the worry is missing a COVID spit test or forgetting a mask. Although many life adjustments had to be made in the last year, following safety protocols like wearing masks could mean less trips here. It is uh, actually historically low. Sparrow doctor Paul Entler reveals an unexpected bright side. In the high school newscast category, the nominees are SHS Today, February 14th, 2022, Celine High School, SWWC, Hornet Nation, February 22nd, 2022, Celine High School, SWWC, DTV, Newscast, Davidson Schools, and the award goes to SHS Today, February 14th, 2022, Celine High School, SWWC. When people think of communication, most think of spoken language. However, ASL is another important form of communication that is taught here at Celine. Lucas Fountain shows us more. Spanish, French, German, all languages you've probably heard before. But I'm here today to give you an opportunity to learn a language you've never heard. On today's episode of Club Corner, I'm shining the spotlight on the Sign Language Club. Let's head inside. 
ASL Club brings together the deaf community and the hearing community, which is a really important bridge to gap because historically there's been a lot of separation between those two communities. Unfortunately, there aren't very many options for people to learn about deaf culture or to learn ASL. So yeah, just to bring the community to the high school. In the category of high school multimedia journalists, the nominees are Meet Mr. Wells, Westwood Heights Schools, Alex Saints Foundation, Troy Athens High School. And the winner is Meet Mr. Wells, Westwood Heights Schools. When I was a fireman, I used to go up to different high schools and volunteer with my little brother basketball teams, bands, and you know, some of the academic um, programs as well. And I realized um, that's the thing I was doing for free. That was my passion. I didn't mind doing that. And so I said, why not uh, go get certified and come back and do it as a profession? I came into education being um, a substitute teacher. So I did a lot of something here. Before that, even in my adolescent and teenage years, I kind of taught Sunday school. <laughs> so I guess it was, a, it was a calling then. I just had not recognized it at, at the time. And when I came back, uh, one of the first classes I taught was the JAG class, and that stands for JAG. In the college category of public affairs, community service, the nominees are Street Teams, Todd Martin, Youth Leadership, Inspiring Youth to Serve, Michigan State University, Nobody Likes Giving Their Child Bad News, Michigan State University, Street Teams, Introducing the Army of Survivors, Michigan State University, and the award goes to Street Teams, Introducing the Army of Survivors, Michigan State University. The Army of Survivors was really founded in 2018 by a group of 40 survivors. We had the opportunity to use our voices that many survivors don't usually have. We wanted to make sure that the momentum that we were feeling continued past when we felt the media would be covering our case. About 7% of athletes experience sexual violence within sport, which means that with participation levels as they are today, there are over 3.75 million survivors in the United States alone of sexual violence in sport. It's not just about us, it's about something way bigger. The Army of Survivors aims to bring awareness, accountability, and transparency to athletes experiencing sexual violence at any level of their sport so that this situation never happens to anybody else. Our mission is supported by our... In the high school public affairs community service category, the nominees are Responding to Racism, Rockford High School, Local businesses support Oxford Lake Orion High School. Davison Tradition returns, Davison Schools. Worker Shortage, Davison Schools. All together now, Troy Athens High School. And the winner is Responding to Racism, Rockford High School. Someone told me to go back to Mexico, or someone told me to go back to Guatemala. Even though they meant it as a joke, we weren't like really at that point to be joking around like that or asking me, or like pulling their eyes back at me. So like the hallways has been like a weird, kind of like place of like attack that I like experienced a lot. Throughout the years, Principal Tom Hosford has seen both the positive and the negative as it relates to racism within the schools. I've seen students support each other uh, through a lot of different crises. I've seen students support each other when there's been some bully behavior and I've seen some bully behavior and harassing behavior and um, you know, microaggression comments. It's because of some of these comments and behaviors. Hi, I'm Calvin Keyes, a digital media co-op at the GI Tech Mount Pleasant campus. Hi, my name is Kennedy Charette and I'm a 12th grader at Hamity High School. I'm a part of my school's media co-op class. Hi, we are WDHS at Dearborn High School. We want to take the time to congratulate this year's nominations. Hi, I'm nominee Owen Summerland. And I'm nominee MJ Williams. And me and my fellow classmates here are media arts students at Mount Community College in Flint, Michigan. And we would like to thank the NATAS for putting on the Student Production Awards. Hi, I'm Natalie Kerwin, host, sideline, and digital reporter with Valley Sports Detroit, covering the Detroit Pistons, Tigers, and Red Wings. My career in broadcast TV began in high school, like many of you, and I'm a 2020 graduate of Michigan State University, where I studied sports journalism. I'm excited to present at today's Student Production Awards, and I want to congratulate all the nominees, so be sure to enjoy this moment. Now, back to the awards. In the category College Live Sports Event Slash Game, the nominee is Michigan State Men's Basketball versus Ferris State, Michigan State University. And the award goes to Michigan State Men's Basketball versus Ferris State, Michigan State University. He's trained to look at the basket first, and he looked 
and I think was almost surprised and said, oh, I got a lane, let's go. Went for it, made a little move, used his body, that strength that we talked about, able to go up and get a grown man basket. So look here, just a little bit of hesitation as he starts that drive, as Ethan Erickson kind of just gave him a little bit too much room in the fast break, and Christy was able to take advantage. He hasn't been afraid or shied away from contact at all in his first game. He's the leading scorer in the second half for Michigan State, up to 11 points. The end zone right now, the loudest they've been since early first half. Davidson trying to end his streak of not scoring. For the high school live sporting event slash game category, the nominee is Cardinals football versus Lapeer, Davison School's October 22nd, 2021. And the award goes to Cardinals football versus Lapeer, October 22nd, 2021, Davison Schools. What we have is more than a team. It's on the wall, we're a family. Blood, sweat, tears, we've been doing it since last season got over. Nothing comes between us. We win together, we lose together. We're a family. And into the end zone for a Cardinal touchdown. Our next category is College Sports Story or Segment. And the nominees are More Green in the Southeast, Michigan State University, One Kick at a Time, Michigan State University. And the winner is More Green in the Southeast, Michigan State University. Michigan State Spartans and Pittsburgh Panthers roll into town. Go Green! With their fans in tow. We've been a place in Atlanta where Spartans gather. Just a few blocks from the heart of downtown Atlanta, MSU fans aren't on the streets. You can find them here at this restaurant, The Nook. Brown and brick on the outside, but green and white on the inside. And I just let them know, I'm like, hey, the Nook is a safe spot for you. Catherine Jolette, a Spartan alum, opened the Nook 13 years ago. It's like a home away from home for the green and white. Pieces of Michigan State history always walking through the door. I'm a 1986 graduate from Michigan State, and my husband married into it. And I graduated in 1987. Awesome to have one of my children go there, too. The Nook is open 300. In the high school sports story or segment, the nominees are We Are Troy United, Troy Athens High School, Jolly Twins, Rockford High School, Confronting COVID Part 8 Sports Struggle, Davison Schools. And the winner is Jolly Twins, Rockford High School. And then like right after conference, I got quarantined, so I wasn't able to go to states and finish that. But overall, it was really good until that part. Although Megan had her time cut short in the state competition, she had an even better opportunity on an even bigger stage. Going to nationals this past year and getting 20th on one meter, so that was pretty good for me. I had a few good tournaments last year in high school season, but I'm obviously hoping it'll be better because some of it was pretty frustrating. The Jolly Girls have high expectations of themselves and set some great goals this upcoming season. I'm hoping to play well at states and regionals and then outside of high school golf, I'm hoping to play in college. Hopefully to get top three at states in a couple weeks. I've been undefeated so far and I hope to in the college sports program category, the nominee is Spartan Sports Report, January 31st at Michigan State University. And the award goes to Spartan Sports Report, January 31st, Michigan State University. Hello and welcome to the Spartan Sports Report. I'm Ian Gilmore. And I'm Reagan Holgate. Michigan and Michigan State. Need we say anything else? I don't think so. Nope. <laughs> See everyone next week. Uh, we, can, we can say a little more. We've got full highlights of the basketball game from Saturday and player reactions on the show today. And we've got highlights from gymnastics and tennis. But first, on Saturday, it was maize and blue versus the green and white. Maybe one of the best college rivalries in all of sports. Michigan coming in with a three-game win streak and MSU coming off a one-point loss to Illinois on the road. And fans were waiting outside of Breslin as early as 6.30 in the morning. And keep in mind, temps were in the single digits at that time. Yeah, no thank you. I'll come a little bit later when it's warm. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Last year it was just cardboard cutouts in the stands. But 
Our next category is College Commercial, and the nominees are iPhone 12, Washtenaw Community College, Salsa, Washtenaw Community College, Spindrift, Washtenaw Community College, and we have a tie. The award winners are iPhone 12, Washtenaw Community College, and Salsa, Washtenaw Community College. Two seconds remaining for a 65-yard attempt. A little confusion now. Too many men on the field. Now they're set. Waiting. There's the snap. Down. Kick. See if it goes the distance. Down the middle. It's good. In the high school commercial category, the nominees are SWWC Overview, Celine High Schools slash SWWC, Davison at the Big House, Davison Schools, Christmas Popcorn, Dearborn High School, and the award goes to SWWC Overview, Celine High School slash SWWC. The South and West Washington Consortium gives students a career and technical education experience that allows them to jumpstart their future. Three, two, one. Talent. The consortium is giving me experience in a field that I would like to go into. The SWWC facilitates programming for students from six districts located in Washtenaw County. Chelsea, Manchester, and Milan. We have Dexter and Lincoln students, in addition to Celine students. These programs give students a chance to engage in hands-on experiences that prepare them for college and career. This program is honestly pretty awesome. Perfect if you don't know what you want to do in the future. In the college music video category, the nominees are I Got It, Washtenaw Community College, Confirmation, Ferris State University. And the award goes to I Got It, Washtenaw Community College. I've got the toxic hypnotic composite and been dropping in catastrophic since the bubonic. Yeah, I've got the technical incredible mental stay, but is to break it down and crush every delectable instrumental break. Yeah, I've got the vision to see through to the wisdom and keep building. Herb one is for the children. Yeah, I've got the braggadocious, ferocious mind of a swarm of locusts is hopeless for those around atrocious. Yeah, I've got the voice that resonates, elevates and escalates, penetrates and devastates. Yo, I've got the vocal percussion, total production with drums and stay bumping you're the perfect construction yeah i've got the dedication to keep making amazing tracks you faded and headed for termination you know it's like that you know that i got it in the high school music video category the nominations are left unsaid celine high school slash swwc athens versus troy cheer troy athens high school and the winner is left unsaid celine high school slash swwc we left unsaid Are better off just staying dead I never wanted your song So don't say I was leading you on I know you can't help it But you are so broken And I can't be your crutch this is you needing me, I'm not free therapy, you depend on me too much. So let's leave those words unsaid. Our next category is college animation slash graphics and special effects. The nominees are skateboarding, Washtenaw Community College, street teams, introducing the Army of Survivors, Michigan State University. And the winner is... Street Teams, introducing the Army of Survivors, Michigan State University. About 7% of athletes experience sexual violence within sport, which means that with participation levels as they are today, there are over 3.75 million survivors in the United States alone of sexual violence in sport. It's not just about us, it's about something way bigger. The Army of Survivors aims to bring awareness, accountability, and transparency to athletes experiencing sexual violence at any level of their sport so that this situation never happens to anybody else. 
Our mission is supported by our three activity pillars, which are education, advocacy, and resource creation. Those pillars are really how we support survivors. The goal of this organization is really to give survivors a voice. We work on both the prevention side. In the high school animation, graphics, and special effects category, the nominees are Christmas Popcorn, Dearborn High School, Ducks Don't Drink and Drive, Dearborn High School. And the award goes to Ducks Don't Drink and Drive, Dearborn High School. For the category of College PSA Public Service Announcement, the nominees are East Lansing COVID Shanty, Michigan State University, Don't Be a Clown Vaping, Washtenaw Community College, The Spartan Spit Kit, Michigan State University. And the winner is The Spartan Spit Kit, Michigan State University. In the high school PSA public service announcement category, the nominees are Don't Turn Your Life Into a Horror Movie, Troy Athens High School, Alternatives, Lake Orion High School, Ducks Don't Drink and Drive, Dearborn High School, Oxford Love, Davison Schools, Vaping PSA, Davison Schools. And the award goes to Oxford Love, Davison Schools. Dear Oxford family, You are facing an unimaginable tragedy. Scared. Angry. Confused. And lost. Most words can't begin to describe what you are feeling. We can't make your pain go away, but we want you to know that Davison is here for you. This is going to take a long time to heal. But you are Oxford strong, and we know that you will make it through. Our hearts are with you. With love. With love. With love. With love, students of Davison. Students of Davison. Students of Davison. Students of Davison. Hi, we're the Athens TV nominees from Troy Athens High School. We would like to thank you for being nominated and also congratulate all of you. Best of luck. <laughs> Greetings from the Ferris State University Television and Digital Media Production Program. We are located in Big Rapids, Michigan, and our program features an immersive, hands-on applied experience combined with a six-month capstone internship. We would like to wish all the nominees from all the colleges and universities of this competition the best of luck. And go Bulldogs! My name is Matt Zacharias, and I'm from Washtenaw Community College in Ann Arbor, Michigan. And all of our students are totally stoked to be a part of this amazing award ceremony, and we look forward to more to come. Hello, Michigan. I'm Tyler Scroggins. DTV is a student-run television station in Davidson, about 10 miles outside of Flint. We focus on getting student journalists outside of the classroom and into the real world to tell stories that matter to our community. Good luck, everybody, and thank you, Natus, for inspiring us all. I'm Jerry Lumen Zeldis, filmmaker and professor at Michigan State University School of Journalism. Like all of you, I am passionate about storytelling and began my career at WLNS-TV in Lansing before entering higher education and documentary film production. It is my privilege to honor the next generation of television arts and sciences broadcast professionals at today's Student Production Awards. Congratulations to all of the nominees. Be proud of everything that you have and will accomplish. Please remember 
that immediately following the awards, we will be announcing the winners of this year's Dr. Lynn Boyle, John Smith High School and College Scholarships. And now, on to the awards. We'll begin with the award for the College Editor category. The nominees are Laundromat Dreams, Spring Arbor University. You guys are the stars, you just make me shine, that's all. Michigan State University. And the award goes to, you guys are the stars, you just make me shine, that's all. Michigan State University. Gentlemen, how are we doing tonight? It's almost midnight. Most people are going to bed now. How are you tonight? Good, what can I get for you? But for East Lansing Cottage Inn owner, George Hoover. Chris, can you make a vanilla shake, please? There's that for you. His work shift is just getting started. I come in when the phones really ring, and that's after midnight. So that my shift started at 1130 at night. He's not making pizzas. You ordered uh, Nino with a uh, jalapeno? He's up Any front, talking butter? to the customers. I literally live to come here at, m at midnight and to talk to as many people as I can. For Hoover, it's the customers that bring out the best in him. Well, when somebody brings the best out of you and you're shining, you guys are the star. You just make me shine, that's all. Oh. Maybe they think you're... In the high school editor category, the nominees are Eric Rides the Bus, Troy Athens High School, Lakeland Mock Car Crash 2021, Lakeland High School, and the winner is Eric Rides the Bus, Troy Athens High School. My journey was going to require a lengthy detour, one that took me in the opposite direction. Riding the bus, I was a part of 71% of smart passengers using the system to get to work. The two and a half hour ride and the walk adds an extra five hours to the normal nine to five. Five extra hours, five hours wasted every day. This wouldn't be the case for everyone, but here we are. Here's the dilemma Michigan residents have to face every day. Do I spend a ridiculous amount of money buying and maintaining the car, which will leave me penniless, but get me to work on time? Or do I ride the bus for a cheap fare, but lose 20% of my life? This example might be extreme, but guess what? It's real, and the people are real too. In the college nonfiction short form category, the nominees are Weaving Through COVID, Mott Community College, A Farmer's Tragedy, Ferris State University, Changing the Coop, Washtenaw Community College, Aftermath, Washtenaw Community College, and the winner is A Farmer's Tragedy, Ferris State University. We also have a few sheep and a few head of cattle, so a typical day also involves feeding the animals. My favorite part of farm life is I love to make a meal and just look at it and know that I raised all of that. Everything that is on that plate, I know where it came from, I, I know how it was treated, and I had a part in that. Danger is involved in basically any activity that a farmer does. It's really about being aware of your surroundings and paying attention and doing what you can to mitigate the danger, but recognize that. In the high school nonfiction short form category, the nominees are 2022 Homecoming Pre-Game Show, Davis and Schools, You versus Rona, Detroit School of Arts, Smile, Troy Athens High School, and the award goes to Smile, Troy Athens High School. On walls were graffiti. And, and I honestly believe that's what I was taught growing up. And so I never did any outdoor artwork. And as I got older, I realized how important public art is. The little people, man, the, the, the four-year-olds, the seven-year-olds, the 10-year-olds, like, hey, man, that looks cool. Maybe I can do art one day. It's, it's like you're giving, you're giving hope to a, a medium that's not necessarily taught in schools anymore. And so um, when you see someone out there painting and they're getting paid and it's a job and it's 20 feet, it, it can be very inspiring. Uh, I want to get into more apparel. I love toys. I love product. So you just want to push smiles and not only just paintings, but like rugs and hats and other different forms. For the college nonfiction long form category, the nominees are Fresno, Grand Valley State University, Penultimate, 
Washtenaw Community College, Detroit River Escape, Washtenaw Community College, Nuclear Family, Washtenaw Community College, and the winner is Fresno, Grand Valley State University. And they would go through this door, which has since been sealed up, but they had a, a, a derrick, they would lift the, the boat out and set it in the river and row up the river. Follow me. This was more of a, a living section and a utilitarian section. They were um, the air tanks for the old fog signal, the bellowing fog signal, the boom kind of fog signal. We have portholes that are being restored. The block is a terracotta block and this base or foundation was built in 1921. Now we're standing on the main level of the Grand Haven entrance light. And if you could imagine this cement foundation not being here, the wooden structure that you see used to sit directly on. In the high school nonfiction long form category, the nominees are Colorful, Rockford High School, Confronting COVID, Davison Schools, Making a Door Less Open and Considering Slamming It Shut, Lake Orion High School, Ram Center, Fall, Rockford High School, and the award goes to Confronting COVID, Davison Schools spoke about her newest executive order. That order basically closes schools for the remainder of this school year. And for the first time ever, students and staff would have to abruptly pivot from a face-to-face -face schooling to an entirely new online system. As you know, the district has been providing uh, educational resources and learning activities and opportunities for our students, but we hadn't really provided any real instruction that's all going to change. Uh, last week when we, when we started to hear rumors that the governor was going to cancel school for the remainder of the year, um, I gathered my administrative team and we started working on developing a plan. In, order to in the director category for college, the nominee is Runaway Horses, Washtenaw Community College, and the award goes to Runaway Horses, Washtenaw Community College. In the high school director category, the nominees are Eric Rides the Bus, Troy Athens High School, Grace Bunn, Lake Orion High School, and the award goes to Eric Rides the Bus, Troy Athens High School. Not really sure how I'm supposed to get the pass. It says buy a pass here, but we're going to have to figure that out. Michigan is the birthplace of the auto industry. To this day, vehicle production is the single most important factor in the Michigan economy. We take pride in our cars, in the history behind them, which is why I was blown away to hear that Michigan is the most expensive state for car ownership. On average, it costs $5,300 every year to own a car. In Michigan, however, that number rises to $9,300. The most expensive state for car ownership mixed with an impractical public transportation system and you're bound to crash. With that thought in mind, my bus arrived. In the college fiction long form category, the nominees are When We Meet Again, Mott Community College, Blackout, Mott Community College, and the award goes to Blackout, Mott Community College. My mommy told me not to talk to strangers. And where is your mommy? She in there? Does she know you out here? What are you even doing out here? Waiting to go to school. Well, you shouldn't be out here alone. No, don't go in there. 
Let's go, Tiff. Hey, hey, you, you really shouldn't leave your daughter out here like that. Who are you to tell me what to do with my child? I didn't ask you for your advice, so save it. Damn, what happened to your face? Let's go. Looks like we walk into school today. Hello? What up, cuz? In the fiction long form high school category, the nominees are Destination Damnation Redux, Lake Orion High School, 100 Years of Royal Oak and Royal Oak Schools documentary, Royal Oak Schools, and the winner is Destination Damnation Redux, Lake Orion High School. We have those gross little microwavable things that always burn the roof of your mouth. The Wi-Fi always makes sure to cut out at the most inopportune time. But my personal favorite part, every now and then, a sinner will have to sneeze, but they'll only be able to yawn. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm good. <laughs> Let's move on. Are you a saucy lad? <laughs> you enjoy the old hanky panky? <laughs> then welcome to Circle Two. Lust, baby! In the college photographer category, the nominees are Weaving Through COVID. Mott Community College, A New Twist and DeWitt, Michigan State University, Reasons, Washtenaw Community College, You Guys Are the Stars, You Just Make Me Shine, That's All, Michigan State University, Hooked on Mullets, Michigan State University, and the winner is Reasons, Washtenaw Community College. Everyone has reasons, but those aren't excuses. There are experiences common to all of us. One is that life is hard. I would argue that it should be hard. No large achievement worth pursuing is easy. Having a struggle is vital to becoming the best version of ourselves. I'm often asked why I do these crazy things. Why race a bicycle for hundreds of miles down dirt roads? Why run ultra marathons? For the photographer category, high school, the nominees are Photographer Real, Ryan Riopel, Davison Schools. Eric Rides the Bus, Troy Athens High School. And the winner is Photographer Real, Ryan Riopel, Davison Schools. The luxury of a Q-tip. <laughs> I'm really, really proud of my family and how they've, how we are now versus, you know, that first week. They've really, really come a long way. I feel like these past couple of years have been pretty rough on our country and the world, and there's been a lot of uh, uh, just kind of ugliness, but through this, I have saw um, just some amazing people, um, God's grace. I just remember just sitting on my front porch, taking it all in, kind of just reliving and um, I took a... Uh... For the high school audio sound category, the nominees are The Loop, Troy Athens High School, Smash Bash, Dearborn High School, Oxford Fight Song, Dearborn High School, and the winner is The Loop, Troy Athens High School. <laughs> In the high school writing category, the nominees are Grace Bunn, 
Lake Orion High School, Eric Rides the Bus, Troy Athens High School, and the award goes to Eric Rides the Bus, Troy Athens High School. People on the bus, total. Don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. It seems like more of a cultural problem, that our Metro Detroit community is really a car community. That may be too big of an issue for this reporter to address, because, well... We left at 9.40 this morning? Long trip. It's 12.01, I just made it to work. Now I gotta go there. The bus, I'm walking home tonight. In the college fiction short form category, the nominees are Ebb and Flow, Hope College, Medicinal Tequila, Washtenaw Community College, and the award goes to Ebb and Flow, Hope College. <laughs> What's up guys, I'm Matt Severino. And I'm Sam Yakum, And we're students from Hope College. And together we created the short film titled Ebb and Flow with Carter Damasca and a few of our other classmates. And we're very excited for you to see it. Thank you so much and enjoy. Hi, my name is Natalie Alshaus. I'm a student producer for Beyond the Rack. We are a student run video production and broadcasting class at Rockford High School in Rockford, Michigan. We love to serve our community and school by telling stories of all of those around us. We are honored to be a part of the Student Production Awards and look forward to seeing all the incredible videos created by our peers. Thank you for having us. Hi, we're WDVC Dragon Broadcasting from Lake Orion High School, Lake Orion. Our program has been running since the 70s and has been dedicated to creating quality videos and live stream production. Hi, we're Lakeland Video Production here at Lakeland and we're happy to be nominated for this award. Thank you so much for all of your support, and we wish all of you the best of luck. I'm Lucas Fountain, and welcome to Celine High School's video program. Taught by Mr. Bush, the video program produces two shows, SHS Today, a general news show, and Hornet Nation, a sports news show, along with many other video products. Thank you to the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences for nominating us for the Michigan Student Production Awards. Hello again, I'm Ron Hillier from Mid Michigan Now in Flint. Thank you for watching today's Student Production Awards for the National Academy of Arts and Sciences, Michigan chapter. And congratulations to all this year's winners and nominees. At this time, it's an honor to announce the 2022 recipients of the Michigan ME chapter's two prestigious student academic initiatives, the John Schiff and Dr. Lynn Boyle High School Grants and College Scholarships. And now, let's get to it. This year's high school grants go to Dearborn High School, McBain High School, Plymouth High School, Troy Athens High School. And we are thrilled to award the following college scholarships to Ethan Collado, Madonna University, Jakara Charles, Madonna University, Nefertiti Givens, Mock Community College, Madison Labonte, Mock Community College, Julian Steinbeck, Michigan State University. Congratulations to all our broadcast film, digital, and media production students as they rise to the challenge of serving our society and ascending to become the next generation of journalism and media industry professionals. All the best to all. Good luck. <laughs>